What's up guys, Aplox here. Welcome to Modding Fall New Vegas Part 3. Today we're going to be going over performance and 8 different ways that you can get extra performance out of your game. So let's go ahead and get right into this. What's up guys, Apox here, welcome to modding Fallout New Vegas Part 3. This is going to be performance and going over quite a few different ways to get better performance out of your game. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So first off, we're going to be going over the good old stutter remover, but first off we have to install NVSE. So what you want to do is simply click the download latest version on this page. Everything will be linked down in the description below and you can go ahead and save it. You are going to need 7-zip or WinRAR to actually extract this and you can go ahead and hit extract here. Once you've done that you can hit yes to all if you have it already on your desktop and then you can go ahead and open it up. And then you're going to also need your Follow New Vegas directory opened so we're going to go ahead and open that up now and this can be located in computer, local files or local disk C, program files 86 Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Fall of New Vegas. What you want to do then is highlight all of the .dll files and the executable file and simply drag them over into your main directory and hit move and replace if you already have it installed. Don't know why you would if you're following this tutorial, but if you already have this installed, you don't need to install it again. The next step is to install Stutter Remover, which basically removes the stutters and the micro stutters or the 60 hertz bug that some of you may know. Uh, this will not work as well for modded games, like heavily modded games, but you will definitely see an improvement in all forms. So anyways, you want to go ahead and not hit download with manager. Um, sorry about that. Did not mean to do that. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Uh, you want to go ahead and download manually and then you can download it to your desktop. I already have it in uh, downloaded so we can go ahead and go back and then NVSR extract here yes to all and then it'll d extract into a data folder and it'll pop up as NVSE and you can go ahead and go back to your Follow New Vegas directory and drag the NVSE folder into your Follow New Vegas directory and hit yes if it has any pop-ups the reason why it's giving me all these pops up pop-ups is because I already have it installed and then that's how you install New Vegas uh, Stutter Remover. So that's the second tip. Uh, some people do get some uh, FPS boosts with New Vegas Script Extender. I don't quite know why. I don't quite know what it does to do that. But some people seem to get performance fixes from it in the first place. But you're going to need it for most of these uh, fixes anyway. So next up is the 4GB Full New Vegas updated. You want to go ahead and download this manually as well. I already have that downloaded so we can go ahead and go to the Fallout New Vegas 4 gigabyte right here. I'm going to go ahead and extract this here again just to show you. And then we can go ahead and open this up and highlight the .dll and the Fallout New Vegas 4 gigabyte.exe and drag them over into your uh, directory again. And then once you have done that, if you are using Mod Organizer, what you want to do is open up Fallout New Vegas Mod Organizer and go into Edit and hit these three little dots. What that will do is bring you into the directory uh, to your Fallout New Vegas directory and you want to choose the Fallout New Vegas 4 gigabyteexe and that will give you a extra uh, executable which you can then load through here. You can also create a shortcut to the toolbar, the desktop or a start menu and then you can also run it through Mod Organizer as well. So now that we have installed 4GB or Fallout New Vegas 4GB, basically what that does is allocates 4 gigabytes. Uh, of memory to be used with Fallen New Vegas. Next up what we're gonna do is uh, Mission Mojave I believe and basically what this does is it fixes a bunch of bugs and everything uh, so you can go ahead and go to files and you can download the main file if you have... now this does require all of the DLC uh, so the Dead Money, Honest Hearts, Old World Blues, Lonesome Road and Gunrunners Arsenal but by now, I'm pretty sure every single one of you should have the DLC for Fallout New Vegas. 
and honestly you should all just have it and also there is the pre-order patch in case you have the pre-order packs and then also there's a bunch of compatibility patches as well so you gotta go ahead and choose which ones you need to install uh, but anyways I've already installed this so we're gonna go ahead and open up mod organizer and basically all you do is enable the mod and drag it to your to the very top or as high as possible in your load order so I have it below the master files because you can't drag ESPs or plugins past master files so that's what you do and then Mission Mojave is now installed basically what Mission Mojave does is remove a bunch of bugs from the game so you can definitely see an improvement in performance some of you may not see as big of a performance fix as others but it definitely does give a tiny bit of performance especially in certain locations in which there are many bugs now next up is chasm with MCM now personally this does not work with mod organizer and this does come in to play a few times with mod organizer there are a few mods that don't work with mod organizer just because how it installs mods so this is actually really sad to find out because Chasm is something that I always use or always used before. Uh, so this is honestly really making me debate on going back to Nexus Mod Manager just for the fact that I can't use Chasm. I might end up going back to it just for uh, certain mods and everything. Uh, but it totally depends. I might end up just having Fall of New Vegas installed twice if I can figure out how to do so. Uh, so that I can have two different versions one with Nexus mod manager uh, So that I can show people with Nexus mod manager how to install certain things and then one version with mod organizer So next up uh, You can simply download this with manager and then just install it I've actually done so on here, but it doesn't work It shows up in the mod configuration menu and all the options and everything pop up, but the actual saving does not work I don't quite know why but it just doesn't register that you have Nexus uh, New Vegas script extender installed, so that is an issue. Uh, next up is border or borderless gamers. So basically, what this is is allowing you to play in windowed mode borderless, so you won't have the border around anymore. So basically, what you're gonna have to do is install this, and then once you have this installed, you want to simply click this, and it'll download it and create a folder called borderless gamers or something like that and then drag the uh, folder that comes or the file that comes with it which is borderless gaming 6.5 and you want to go ahead and extract that into the folder and the reason for that is because it extracts all these files into wherever you extract it to and then basically what you can do is just run one of these in the background and it will actually be this program right here and you can go ahead and when you have your game up and running you can select it and just put it over as you can see it is now minimized we can go ahead and launch it up here and then we can go ahead and launch up our folding new vegas after after we go ahead and turn it into windowed mode so if you already have it in windowed mode you don't need to do this step but you can go follow new vegas launcher.exe and launch this up and then what you can do is go options and go to nta listing turn it off anastrophic filtering turn it off and the reason for this is it makes it the best performance as possible and it's honestly not that big of a difference in following new vegas guys especially if you are using an enb or any graphics mods as well uh, so personally i would just say turn them off even if you have a really good computer i suggest just turning them off uh, honestly they're not really required um, and then another thing you want to do is enable windowed mode now if you want to get higher FPS But you don't care about screen tearing you can go ahead and disable vertical sync But if you want smoother gameplay and you don't want any glitches or anything like that I definitely do suggest keeping vertical sync on uh, which is per personally what I do and then you can go ahead and hit ok and then you can go ahead and hit play and This doesn't matter that it's not the uh, four gigabyte edition uh, we're just get, we're doing this so that we can set it as a favorite. So we want to go ahead and choose this and put it over into our favorites, and then it'll now turn it into the borderless. And now what we want to do, whole like YouTube. Um, so now what we want to do is actually close Follow New Vegas. 
And now that Borderless Gaming is now set up to run Fallout New Vegas, we can go ahead and close it just so that it saves the settings and so that if it ever does crash, we don't have to set it up to be a favorite again. Then we can open it up and then you can see that the uh, Fallout New Vegas is there. So what we want to do now is go... And then there was one more fix that I wanted to show you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to find it while we are making the video. So, yeah, it was right here. Now, this is something that I, I'm not going to be installing, and I don't really suggest people with really good computers to install it. And if you're getting at least 60 FPS or 30 FPS while recording or something like that, don't install this because it's something that's going to remove uh, non-used items from your game. But if you don't really care from certain rock types being removed that don't have any clipping issues or anything like that, uh, then this is definitely something that will better your performance, especially in certain locations, because there is a rock type that is not used to hide clipping issues or anything like that. And it's called the, it's basically a small rock or a small cave rock. And it's used thousands of times throughout the game, and it will definitely help your performance. And there, it does remove a few other things. So this does sometimes fix the stability and also helps retaining performance, but... Honestly, it's something that I'm not going to be installing, but it's definitely a something that you guys can use. Now, there are, are also a bunch of different other things that you can use to get better performance. Like, I'm going to show you guys this right now. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to search on the Nexus to find certain things that can better your performance or FPS if you do have a bad computer or an older computer. So, let's go ahead and just type in something like FPS. You can type in things like FPS, and it may come up with things like this as well, but if we go ahead and scroll through, we may find something uh, boosts FPS a lot. As you can see, this may be something to look into. Now, this is things things like this is things that you want to make, you make sure that you do research into and check to see if they actually do something. And then you can also type in remove, something like that. And then you can see if we find... We're going to try and find something here. Do, do, do. Dust Devil Remover. Now this is definitely something that's going to help with performance in Good Springs or places like Good Springs. And honestly, they really do help. It basically removes the dust storms that fly around Good Springs and certain locations. That can be really, really annoying and actually kind of look ugly. Uh, so this is definitely something you can test out, and if you do have bad FPS in Good Springs, this is definitely something that will help. Trust me, I've tried it on my older laptop, and that even helped with like I think like 15 FPS or something like that. And my old FP or my old piece or my old laptop, holy brain fart. Um, basically, my old laptop is a complete piece of garbage, and it was basically running 5 FPS ish in Good Springs uh, with the mods that I installed. Um, basically, that was my computer I was dealing with for the longest time when I first started YouTube, so this is definitely something that will help your FPS, even if you do have a good computer, uh, but basically searching in things like remove or remover or FPS or boost or booster are things that you can search to find that or find things that will help your uh, game in performance. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and link all of these down in the description below. And then I will also link some bonus files like this, like the better performance, uh, in into a little category in the description. It's basically going to say boost or extra uh, fixes or extra performance boosters and for like bad PCs or something like that. And it will just have a bunch of different things that I will go ahead and research. But anyways, guys, if this does help out your FPS at all or help out your performance or remove stutters or you just enjoyed this video, then please click that like button down below and subscribe to join in the good fight. But anyways, guys, this has been Epoxy. Don't forget to stay sexy and stay gaming. I'm out. Peace.